It's the most wonderful time of Mark's day. What? what? Maybell, that's very rude. You should say happy Wednesday, December 7th. What? Okay, well, go get on your mat. Go get on your rug. We'll open up your advent calendar. We'll do that. First thing, it's very early. It's not even 6 o'clock in the morning. But, uh, you know, but I am up early because I've got a lot to do today. We're looking for number 7. There's 8. Oh, there it is. I need to look at these before I hit record so I can find it. Ooh, you got a greenie. All right, we're going to get the greenie out, Maybell. You got green. It's for Christmas. Oh, yay. Hey, I'm not going to drop it on you today. Here you go. Good girl. I'm going to let her eat that, and then I'll let her outside so we can do Mr. Fluffer Pants. Mark hasn't even left for work yet. Normally, I'm still in bed. He's going to walk in there, and he's going to be like... What are you doing up? Maybe we can get him to do a couple of advent calendars. This is this morning before he goes to work? Probably not. Because he'll be ready to go. But I'm going to let Maybell outside. Turn this light on. I have a hair appointment today. So I have to do all of my shipping. And I'm getting my hair colored. So when I go to the shop. Well when. At some point when I'm at the shop. Maybe you'll see me and my hair will be all wet. Because when I'm getting my hair done. I don't. When I get it colored, I'm like, I'll just leave wet. You don't need to style it. Because usually I get my hair colored on a day that I have to do my shipping. All right, let's do Fluffy. Are you ready for your advent? You are? Okay, where's number seven? We got to find number seven, mister. It's right here. Oh, boy. Oh, looky there. Oh, does it go... Oh, so he got a little, I guess that's supposed to be a mat. You love that? Watch. Here it goes. Oh, <laughs> he's going to play with it. It's like a little, what, Mr. Fluffy? Oh, okay. Okay, snacks. Yo, this first one, he always, he always has to test it first. And then the second one, he's ready to go. Yeah. Well, Mark is being a Scrooge, and he doesn't want to do the Advent calendar this morning. Not even one. How's it come, Mark? I gotta go. He'll do him this afternoon. All right. Well, let's see what's going on here in the North Pole with our uh, no Santa's hotline connection. Eighteen days. Well, that was hilarious. Now we got to communicate with the North Pole. So let's tune in and see what's going on in the North Pole. Hopefully we don't get a hold of that guy. Hopefully he's not going to be on here. Help me, Mark. You ready? Hello! Oh, phew. I'm Boingo Middlemeyer, and I'm oh, Al. Boingo. I work at the Guild of Fountain Spring. Get this. A jar of jumping jelly beans spilled, and they've been crashing into everything all morning. I'm doing my best to pick them up, but it's got me feeling rather, well, jumpy. <laughs> Do you think you can jump up and down with me a few times to get all the jumps out? No. When I count to three, jump up and down with me. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> That's as much Since as you both love jumping so much, I bet you like bouncy things too. What's your favorite toy that bounces? 
A beach ball? That's one of my favorites too. Oh. But then again, I love all things that bounce, jump, hop, leap. Well, you get the idea. Uh-oh, I better get back to rounding up those jumping jelly beans. Wish me luck. Well, that would be a dangerous place to work. Things bouncing around all over the place. Yikes. All right, we're gonna start with our stack just the way it sits. And the first one is the Beauty Blast. Mark, you can at least see what I have in my advent calendars today. Until coffee's made. Until his coffee made and then he's leaving. Oh, Maybell's talking to daddy. He's thinking, you should be opening these advent calendars, dad. All right. Oh yeah, Maybell wants cottage cheese. Here, let me, let me take a break from the advent calendars and we'll show you Maybell's favorite treat. Even though she already got an advent calendar, she gets so excited because she gets cottage cheese on her lick mat. <gasps> it's her favorite. Now she's had pumpkin um, and peanut butter, but she loves the cottage cheese. Look how excited she's gonna get. What's daddy doing? Is daddy getting uh, Oh, I know. Is daddy getting your cottage cheese? Oh boy, cottage, cottage cheese. cheese. <laughs> Yum. She loves it. It's her favorite treat. She is not spoiled at all. At all. All right, box number seven. It's a square box. We've not opened up a square box from the Beauty Blast. It's nice though that they're all like wrapped up in tissue paper too. We got Ladybird. Ladybird Lane. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, it's a... It might be a bronzer. That's a really pretty color. All right, next is Ooshies. 24 Days of Ooshies. Remember that um, cartoon that our kids used to watch? Ooby. Ooby, 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 ooby. And he had, like, little eyeballs on his hands. Was that Ooby? Got a lot to say. He's got a lot to do, and he's always with you. Ooby. It's funny how things just pop into your brain. Is that just me? <laughs> it's just me. Things popped in my brain. All right, where is number seven? Mark, come open up the Ushi. Things pop in your head, and then you say them. Or, oh, yeah, that's true. <gasps> Who are you? Hang on, and I'll show you. It's so hard to get out of here. If I was a child, I would have been frustrated. Oh, he is so cute. He's the Mad Hatter. I thought he was Jiminy Cricket there for a minute. But very, very um birthday to you, to you, to you, to you. He's cute. I like the colors, like the yellow and the green together. Bring it over here. Ooby. Ooby, 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 ooby. Like, whoever thought of that is probably a millionaire by now. You know? Good grief. And I, I remember the song, and it all popped into my brain. All right. Here, Mark. You Come here, just real quick. You can open up this Disney Funko Pop one. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. That's why I'm getting up with the butt crack it on to do these advent calendars so I can... Oh, my fingers are gonna be tore up. I don't think that you can get it. Oh, okay. Okay, here's number seven. Okay, come here. There he is, folks. He's gonna open up number seven. Man, my finger. Just rip it open. It's a caramel. No, aw, we should've opened up the chocolate one. We can open up the chocolate one. Hi, Mickey Mouse cookie. That looks like That's caramel. That's really cute. It does look like caramel. He is really cute. He's like a little mini Christmas cookie. Hang on. Goodbye. No, let's do the chocolate. I gotta go. Mm. All right. I love you. Love you too. Thank you for opening up one. My finger is bleeding from that. Look at that. Puncture wound. I'm suing the Walt Disney Corporation. Okay, good luck with that. 
All right, we're gonna do mini brands next. And we'll end with our favorite, the chocolate. It's been so good. I hope we get good one today. I love you. Love you too. I'll see you this afternoon for part two of Advent Calendars. Okay. So, mini brands. We have, or we are on number seven, which is down here. Oh, maybe we'll get a really good one this morning. Uh, here's another blast from the past. Should have had a V8. Do, do you, does any of you remember those commercials? Original. This is the original V8, even though the can looks much different than what I remember, but I should have had a V8. That was a popular commercial back in the day. All right. Now we have the chocolate. Maybe we'll get a good one. Maybe we will get this white chocolate one. Maybe we will get the, um, there was one other one. This, this medallion hazelnut. That one looks, that one looked really good. The one that we had yesterday was not bad. It was very chocolatey. I, I will not buy chocolate advent calendar again. I promise. All right. I guess you can't even see me open it. It's really, really big. Boy, that's dark chocolate. It's got this little flirty on it. This one is dark chocolate with strawberry ganache. I'm going to try it. I got this little paper here because I will not eat the whole thing. But we're going to try it because I don't mind the strawberry ganache. It's not, no. It's so dark chocolate. That's like overpowering the ganache. But if you like chocolate, this is no dig onto the Aldi. If you like chocolate, it they are good chocolates, but it's too dark. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's like torture. Isn't that horrible? Like, I feel like I'm being tortured by eating chocolate. We're going to stack all these back up for tomorrow. All right. So, this morning, we're going to get to the shop. I do have some eBay orders. I think I had four eBay sales overnight, which is great. I have been listing some things over on eBay. So, you know, that's the way eBay works if you list things. You sell things. And I think I had two sales on Virtual Antique Marketplace. So we will get those shipped first. And then I got a lot of shipping to do. I believe my appointment is at 10.30 or 11.30. Maybe I'll, you and those nails. Um, I'll have to double check. But I'm going to try to get as much done as I can in the morning. Because I also... After my hair appointment, I'm going to run over to Riverside. I've gotten, I've been overwhelmed with the amounts of requests. So I am going to go and I am going to get some more of Daphne's creations. And I will bring them to Tuesday's sale. Now keep in mind, Tuesday's sale is my last sale before Christmas. You will get them before Christmas. So... Tuesday sale will be the last chance that you're going to get one of Daphne's Christmas cr creations. Now, I will still buy Daphne's things, but if you're wanting something as a Christmas gift, it's gonna, Tuesday's going to be it. I'm also, um, my mom is has gone through some of her vintage Christmas collections that she's like, I just don't, I'm just ready to move on. So my mom is actually sending me a box of items from Florida to sell for her. So I'm selling them for her. I'm not keeping the money. I'm sending her the money. So she's going to have some of her special items. Um, they're on their way here. That's going to happen on Tuesday as well. It's going to be a fun sale. All right. I'm going to get going so I can get started on my stuff. So I can get everything done that I need to get done today. I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. I'll show you. I'll lay out a HelloFresh meal. I also have friend mail to open and I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do this 
I probably will go into the shop tomorrow and we'll open up friend mail and that will be we'll do advent calendars and friend mail and that probably will be the all of the of the video because it'll the friend mail does take me a while because it's so much fun to open but I'm going to visit my baby girl Emma on Friday so I'm going to be with Emma all weekend long I will be vlogging Emma will be in the vlog Emma will be helping me make open the advents I'm going to be taking the advent calendars to Indianapolis so, and then we're going to do something, some little holiday things. So that's going to be part of the vlog too. So the next couple days, and like I said, some days it's just going to be boring, you know, but I'm taking an entire week off. So I'm going to be making some holiday treats and that sort of thing as part of the vlog too. So that's going to be up and coming. All right. So tonight we are going to have HelloFresh Mushu Pork Bowls with cabbage scallions and buttery rice i won't be eating this but mark and dad will um i, I this isn't sponsored we pay for hello fresh ourselves but it has really really helped me as far as meal planning goes trying to figure out what everyone's going to have every ingredient is sent to me with the directions mark and i cook together so we really enjoy it so i've got the pork laid out and we'll follow these steps tonight and uh, make dinner. I'll probably have Amy's enchiladas that I keep a stock of. But Dad and Mark will enjoy this dinner. So I'm going to lay that out so that's ready to be cooked tonight. Okay, before I show you what sold on eBay, I want to show you something that I'm really excited about. So I had bought these mugs. I can't even remember where I bought them at. They are left in. <clears throat> little coffee mugs or tea mugs here. And I loved them. I thought, oh, okay, those are really cool. And I had this green uh, mug tree. And then I was scrolling on Vamp and saw that there's a matching teapot. So I bought the teapot to match the mugs. I love the look of that together. So I think I'm gonna, these are gonna be uh, for sale on Tuesday's live sale. I think that they're fantastic. I love it when a plan comes together and you can find the matching vintage in two totally different places. So that makes me happy. What sold overnight on eBay, I had this set of Jeanette, uh, the little like pink milk glass, um, the pitcher and three little goblets that sold on eBay as well as this Ole Hendrickson Truth Juice Daily Cleanser part of one of my subscription, my uh, boxes that sold on eBay. And then to the same, oh no, Piglet, you didn't sell, I'm sorry. But these little, um, I got these, I think dad got them at an auction. Big box full of these Disney Parks plush. I got them listed. I sold this set here as a lot. We've got Goofy, Minnie, Mickey, and Pluto. And then this little set here, also from Disney Parks of Minnie and Mickey in their Christmas. Piglet, you didn't sell, buddy. He's still available. He didn't sell, but those guys did. And then on Virtual Antique Marketplace, I sold a little bride and groom, Cupie. I don't wear pants when I get married. Hmm. Nope, no pants on him. And then the celluloid, George and Martha Washington. Um, when we bought these, they, their arms were not attached any longer. So we re Mark, I say we, but Mark restrung them. And now they are in perfect order. They're in such wonderful condition too. They are made in Japan. So Emmeline, Emmeline, we're coming to you, girl. So got to get to shipping. I wanted to say too is in today's video, I'm doing a giveaway. So you have to comment in today's video. Today is the 7th of December. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, ma. I'm going to do, and let's, let me rewind this. In honor of my mom's birthday today, I'm going to give away, oh, let me get it ready to, to show you. Okay, there it is. This beautiful hand-painted sign by Daphne. Isn't that so pretty? She added a little embellishment of Mary and a little snowflake. 
So this would be a perfect gift to give to someone or you keep it for yourself. I love that like glitter. So it's a little wooden star. So all you have to do is comment snowman in this video. It has to be today's video. Comment snowman and tomorrow and you only have until tomorrow. You have until Friday because during Friday's vlog, I will uh, pick a winner. I'll do a random comment generator and we will pick a winner in Friday's vlog. I, I'm going to do that periodically throughout th this month. So I will do giveaways. I feel like I just, you know, it is the, the giving season. So I will um, go pick out something today when I go to Riverside as a giveaway for next week. So at least once a week, which there's only what, three weeks left? Three weeks left until Christmas, I think. Yeah. At least we'll do it then. I might do it more than that. So comment snowman in today's video and you can win Daphne's creation. All right, I got to get it going. I'm going to ship the eBay and vamp things first. Then I'm going to get started. I have to ship all of these things today. Okay, it's about three hours later. I got all of my shipping done, done before my hair appointment. So that's, that's pretty good because I, I got some stuff to do afterwards. But I did have another eBay sale. Tres Luche. I'm saying this completely wrong. Beauty. It's mascara sold on eBay. So I'm going to get this ready to go as well. And we'll get it ready to go. All right. I just left the hair salon with wet hair. So I got my little stocking hat on. So I don't, you know, so I don't get sick. But I don't ever sit and let her dry it because I got stuff to do. But I am now... Well, I tried to go to Riverside, but they're closed on Wednesday. And I always forget. I always forget that. So I'm going to have to go to Riverside tomorrow. But I thought since I was out and about, we'd pop into uh, good old Goodwill and see if there's anything in there. I mean, we'll see. All right. I'm going to look at this. They've got some like Christmassy, Christmassy little section here. Ooh, that's nice and warm. That's an extra large, but I would roast in it probably. But, you know, sometimes looking for like fun little Christmassy things. Like, that's American Eagle, a large outdoor trek. Ooh, that's like really thick. All right, well, I'm going to look through the clothes for a few minutes, but then I'll go over there to the one shelf that they have in here and look and see if I can find any vintage pieces. I always like to look for sealed games. Oh, like... There's a guess who game that's sealed. That might actually be good. It's $5.99, so I will run a check on that. Math wheel. No, thank you. No math. Monopoly Gamer. I'll have to open that up and see if the pieces are on the inside. But looking for, like, sealed puzzles are always good. Upwards. I found a sealed Upwards that I've sold for a decent amount of money. That one is not sealed. Desktop golf. <laughs> it's sealed, but I'm not going to get that flashcards. This is a sealed puzzle, but it's kind of a no brain or no brain, no brand one. These, I've sold them in lots before sealed, but I'm not interested in doing that again because they took me for a while. What is this Disney villains? Oh, there's the witch. I like her. Well, I'm going to see if these are worth anything and if the pieces are in that one. All right, the guess who? Hmm, it's it only sells. I think this is the more this is the vintage one. It only sells for about seven to eight dollars. So I'm not going to get that one because it's we won't make any money. And the pieces were not in there that we needed, so we'll put that one back too. Not painted by Daphne. <laughs> Cute, but not painted by Daphne. Oh, look what I found. Liberace. I probably already have this book, but I'm going to buy it again. I also am getting my first little house book for my future grandchildren. <laughs> Deer in the Wood. And I found me a pair of pajamas and a sign for Emma. But she, I don't know if she'll want it or not, but yay. All right, I'm back and I'm going to run into Star City Thrift. Just opened up here on the Bedford Square. Let's see what we got going today. Oh, my kids had a cozy coop. They did. Look at that big donkey over there. They got the big nutcrackers. 
So the oh, there, okay, I still see it. There's an eyelash tree right there, that gold eyelash tree. Yee. I didn't know if it was still going to be here or not. I'm glad that it is. This is pretty. It's just the creamer set, not the sugar. What I got down here? When I was in here on their first day that they were open, it was so crowded, which was wonderful, but I had a hard time seeing everything. It's still quite busy, which is wonderful. But now I feel like I can look a little bit more. Look at these little devils. I like those. Look at their little devil salt and pepper shakers. Those are cute. So the owner makes this holiday punch. Oh, it's so good. I was thinking about it earlier. I had it when we were in here um, over the weekend, and it's so good. Yay. Look at that Darth Vader. Merry Sithmas. There's just a little bit of everything in here. Oh, look, there's the Homeco, the little Homeco mice critters. So all kinds of, all kinds of different things. There's Tupperware over here, or as my dad calls it, Tupperware. Lots of Tupperware over here. I like this little insulator. It's a little one. 1893. It is a Hemingway. I like that it's so little. Okay, I am back from Star City Thrift. I met the owners, Lynn and his husband, Richard. So I will be back every week, I told them. So if you are in the Bedford, Indiana, go in and check them out. They've got a lot of great things at a lot of great prices. Let me show you what I bought today. All right, so I had spied these when I was in there the other day, but the little Joseph, Joseph original, the little flocked baby deer. And look at the little bear cub. I got a Dalla horse and a little, I, I don't know if it's Rio Hondo, but it's definitely, I think, a California pottery little pig and two little bone china boxers. This beautiful, I thought that it might be Old Virginia. Yeah, it's Old Virginia glass. You can see that V on the bottom. I believe it's Old Virginia glass. It's a Vaseline glass. It does glow like the Dickens. Let me show you. Liberace would be proud of the eyelash tree. And then I got this. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Look at how, the, look at this hippopotamus. It's a house hippo. If you need a house hippo, I got one. But look at the coolest part. Woolworth, 19 cents. Oh, and it was $8. It's fabulous. Fabulous. I love it. So that was a great little score there. Star City Thrift here in Bedford. It's just a couple doors down for me. So it's very convenient for me just to walk on down and then walk on back. How you like that? I love it. I love it. I'll be back in every week. All right. I am going to see. I've got to print off some more labels since I just got back. Oh, and I, got, I had that punch. I want to go in there every week. Just for the punch. I don't think that they're going to have it every week. But it was very, very good. Thank you, Lynn, for the punch. It was great. I liked it a lot. And I would like some more. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get things kind of cleaned up around here. And then when I get home, i got to start editing this video. When Mark gets home, it'll be Advent calendar time. He'll be thrilled. It's the most wonderful time of Mark's day. Listen, he's having fun doing them. Your hair was sticking up. You gotta be camera ready, Mark. Sorry. All right, so we're doing advent calendars. We Well, the afternoon time advent calendars. It's day 24 now? No, no, it's only day seven. It's actually day six. Six, but you know, yeah, no. or, we've been or doing, doing this for seven days. Yeah. So, what one do you want to do first? Cheese, uh, Christmas vacation, or Indiana snacks? Well, you got that in your hand right now. Let's do that. Indiana snacks. All right, you can get number seven. All snacks from Indiana. Oh boy, chocolate. Can't wait for that. Where is it from? Your Schlein. Guy Schlein. <laughs> Guy Schlein Chocolatier. Union City, Indiana. So that is where they're from. Oh. 
Check it out. Oh, look at how pretty they are. Yeah. What are they? Well, we gotta open them up and see. They're all snacks from Indiana. Apparently other states do it too. Don't do the cheese yet. We're doing chocolate first. Look at the hole. So, oh, they're dark chocolate. That one looks, look at that. It's like splatter painted. Here, you take a bite out of that one. It's like a robin's egg or something. Something. And then this one's like purple. And then this one's just white and Oh, what's that? What is it? What's the flavor? Peanut butter, maybe? Oh, well, then you'll like that one. I don't want to taste it. Yeah, peanut butter. Oh. Oh. Listen, it's good chocolate, but... I don't want it. Especially <laughs> after that. It's like, it's dark chocolate with dark chocolate in the middle. Do it again. Well, I might have to. This one's purple and white. Here, you take a bite out of it I'm first. Pretty. You prepare me. I'll take the pink side. It's a caramel. Oh, you got all the goo out of it. Oh, it's dark chocolate. I'll let you try it. Look, show them the middle of it. It's like gooey purple. Oh, so what is it? Is it cherry? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> well, Grishlan, Jishlan, Jishlan. Um, you have good chocolate, but you have to like chocolate in order to eat those. That's a good cherry one. Okay. You know what I like? Cheese. Cheese. Glorious cheese. cheese. I bet it'll have stuff in it. Because we've got... Seven? Seven. He's not going to show you opening it. He's just going to... Oh, I hope it's not butt cheese like we got... Oh, it's got stuff in it. No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, it's not just plain cheese. It's marbled. Is it port wine? Yes. Cheddar with port wine. I don't normally like my cheese ice cold, but look at that. I like a port wine cheese ball. Look the back of it. Ooh. That's the top of the front. That is a sharp cheddar. That's much better than chocolate. Yeah. Mm. Cheese! Chevy Chase. Chevy Cheese. What one do you think we're going to get in day seven? We had the grandpa. Aunt Bethany. Bethany. You going to do it? Yeah. We got to show them where it's at first. Well, we got to find out where it's at. It's right oh, there. Right there. All the lights aren't sparkling, Clark. Could be her, too. Oh, yay! Hey, Clark. Is this a new house? Is Rusty still in the Navy? It's Aunt Bethany. And the Rockets Red Flare. <laughs> Play ball. Play ball! Aw, and she's even doing her hand over her heart. <laughs> Cheese. Mm, oh, yeah. Hand over her heart. And she wrapped up the jello mold with the kitty cat food in it. Yeah. Remember when he shakes the box? We have to watch that movie. It's been a while. Okay. Oh, I have to do one more thing. Before I end the video, I'm going to show you another ornament, but I will relieve Mark of his duties. Yay. Do not, ooh. Do not let him fool you. He's enjoying this. But I might let my dad substitute in for him one night. If you will. He's actually in bed right now. Waiting on us to make his dinner. But, alright. I'm going to finish eating this piece of cheese and then I'll go to the tree. 
and we'll show you another ornament. All right, today's special ornament on my tree is this one. You can see it has my name on it. This one was given to me from one of my favorite teachers, Mrs. Beard, in 1980. So that was my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Beard, and uh, she made one of these for every one of her students. That was when, like, doing, doing the little ceramic class was everybody did it, you know, when you were making the ceramic trees. And uh, she made one for each of her students. And that one was mine. And I've had it all these years. When I moved away, my mom saved it and gave it to me. I have a couple of ornaments like that um, that I had when I was a little girl. So that one's my ornament that I chose today. So now I'm going to end today's vlog. Thank you guys so much. It was a, we, we, we got a lot done in this day. We really, really did. I got over 35, 40 packages shipped before 10 o'clock in the morning. I got my hair collared and that's a couple hour process. We went to, well, we tried to go to Riverside, but I keep forgetting that they're closed on Wednesday. And we went, well, you didn't go with me, but I did go to Marshall's. I got a, I got a few Christmas gifts. That's why I couldn't show. Um, and we went to Goodwill, and we went to Star City Thrift, and we opened advent calendars. We did a lot today. The only thing that I didn't do today that I meant to do was go to the post office and check my PO box. But I will do that in the morning because I do have to go to the post office. But that's going to end today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you tomorrow. Hello friends, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.